Hi guys, today we will be looking at subject verb agreement part two. Adding S or ES to verbs. Some verbs end with ES instead of S. Add ES to verbs that end with S, S, H, Sh, C, H, Ch, X, S, or Z, Z, when they are used with a singular noun in the subject. Do not add E, S, when the noun in the subject is plural. Some verbs end with a consonant and Y. Change the Y to I and add ES. When you use this kind of verb with a singular noun. Now, let's look at some examples. Singular subject, plural subject. Tommy rushes to take a bath. Tommy is one person, singular noun. So the verb must be rushes because rush ends with sh add es the boys rush to take a bath boys refer to more than one plural nouns so do not add es to rush johnny watches tv in the hall. Johnny is one person, singular noun. So the verb must be watches because watch ends with ch add es. Jack and Ali watch TV in the hall. Jack and Ali are more than one person, plural nouns. So do not add ES to watch. Mikhail hurries to complete his homework. Mikhail is one person, singular noun. So the verb must be hurries. Because hurry ends with Y, change the Y to I-E-S. The men hurry to complete their homework. Men refer to more than one, plural nouns. So do not change hurry. Billy fixes the computer. Billy is one person, singular noun. So the verb must be fixes. Because fix ends with X, add ES. The woman fix the computer. Woman refer to more than one, plural nouns, so do not add ES to fix. Jody presses the food down in the bag. Jody is one person, singular noun. So the verb must be presses because press ends with S, add ES. The firefighters press the food down in the bag. 
Firefighters refer to more than one. Plural nouns. So do not add ES to press. The bee buzzes around the flowers. B is one insect. Singular noun. So the verb must be buzzes because buzz ends with Z add ES. The bees buzz around the flowers. Bees refer to more than one. Plural nouns. So do not add ES to buzz. Key points to remember. Add ES to the verbs that end with S, SH, CH, X, or Z when they are used with a singular noun in the subject. Do not add ES when the noun in the subject is plural. Change the Y to I and add ES when you use this kind of verb with a singular noun. Now, guys, it's time for you to practice. There will be a link in the description to complete this activity. Thank you very much, everyone. I really hope this video was helpful. Please remember, you can do an activity to see if you understand subject-verb agreement part 2. Just check the description below. And you can also find in the description other videos to help you with grammar and videos to help you with reading. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!